Support. The Maestro, please! Starting to slow down a little bit, but we still have a handful of things to mention. This'll be for the week of... June 11th. 2022. On this day in music back in 1966, Janis Joplin had her first live performance ever at the Avalon Ballroom in San Francisco, California. She performed with Big Brother and The Holding Company. <laughs> I feel like just overall, classical albums have been pretty sparse for the past couple of months. Don't mean a thing if it ain't got that swing. I've got you under my skin. You know, when I think of Mark Tremonti, I typically think of Creed, I think of Alter Bridge. You know, I generally think of the hard rock metal and post grunge scene. Not ever would I think of Frank Sinatra. Singing. Kate Bush's 1985 Hounds of Love, getting all the way back up here, not because of a reissue, not because of an anniversary, but because the song Running Up That Hill was prominently featured in the new season of Netflix's Stranger Things. I don't wanna kick, kick, kick your Def Leppard's 12th studio album, following up 2015's Def Leppard, making it seven years, the longest gap without any new music in the Def Leppard discography. The music in this album very much takes from glam rock of all things. Rare week on this chart where nothing in all 50 spots of this are actually new. <laughs> I mean, we've had a handful of things to talk about recently, so this isn't really that upsetting. And now I need some help from the maestro, please! I think I wanna stay right here tonight, cause I could be dangerous. Cause I could be dangerous. I'll tell you what is upsetting, though. When you drunk, you tell me exactly how you feel. When I'm loaded, I keep it real. Album went certified gold this week. Bitch! Ugh, you ugly as fuck. You out of pocket. Huh. Two ATMs, you step in the what? You out of <laughs> Many people know that this is technically a double album, disc one being the big steppers and disc two being Mr. Morale. But did you know there's a disc three has only the track The Heart Part 5 on it? You know, this is the second album to ever top the chart that's completely in Spanish. The only other all-Spanish album that ever hit number one was, oddly enough, the other Bad Bunny album, El Ultimo Tour del Mundo. You know it's not the same as it was, as it was. It's not often we talk about a sample in a pop album. Oddly enough, the track Daydreaming actually samples Ain't We Funkin' Now by the Brothers Johnson. Like I said, a bit of a slower week, but now you have time to catch up in case you've been getting overwhelmed with the amount of albums we've been talking about lately. And now I need some help out of my stove, please! My stove!